right in the home and there's some rejection there right there's a, a, a family that's breaking up and it's becoming like one-sided and more of the pressure is being released onto you. You could be going to court for um, custody. You could be going through a custody battle. And this is really like weighing on you because you almost feel like you can't get out of this. Like you feel so overwhelmed. That's the overall feeling, feeling I'm just reading, overwhelmed, you know, contractual issues yeah there's a breakup there is a breakup of a home a breakup of a relationship something like that you know where you're left holding the bag basically and you're like i'm trying to figure this out i'm trying to figure out how i'm gonna how i'm gonna do this so that's causing you to feel a lack of like pleasure within yourself or pleasure within your own life because you're going through a rough period in which you have to pick up the slack for a lot of people soul search tarot this is a reading for my libras if this is your first time here thank you for coming if you've been here before thank you for coming back let's go ahead and cleanse the energy so for those of you who don't know this is tarot redefined by human design so if you don't know what human design is girl go go on google familiarize yourself with it i've talked about it many times on my channel and um you know it is what it is what i'm gonna do is i actually <laughs> that's so nice i like that um i confirm the cards with human design so check out what human design is it's something that you need to know about trust me it takes all the guesswork out of living this life with least resistance okay so let's get into this leo reading uh, leo not Le leo libra um first of all take the messages as they apply don't try to make them fit if you're cross watching do the same use your own discernment and tap into your own intuition to see if the messages align if they do they do if they don't they don't you know everything is not for everybody okay I already cleansed the energy and already talked to my guys, so we're good. Um, so if you're new here, what I like to do is, first of all, let me plug in my mic so you guys can hear me better. Whew. So if you're new here, right, um, what I like to do is I like to pre-shuffle three cards because I want to get the mind the soul, the mind, and the body of the reading of the collective. I want to get how you guys are feeling in your soul, in your mind, in your body, right? And it's just giving me a general over understanding of what's going on with you. So Libra, we're going to try to figure this out, okay? Um, bear with me, because this... this Full moon energy is kind of sketchy, <laughs> in my opinion. Okay, so I am. I pulled this card, Yasigi, the goddess Yasigi, for the soul of the reading, and she represents living out loud. Okay, she reminds us that you know we might be different. There might be things that are different about us. We might be innovators. We might be creative. We might be something like this and then everybody's not always going to agree with the way we live our life or the way we choose to go about things and libras are very innovative they're different they are you know air signs in general and so 
I'm getting someone who is having a hard time being this energy, like tapping into themselves, living out loud. I'm getting someone who's living from a place of fear. And this place of fear is like severely like paralyzing you and keeping you stuck in a pattern. <laughs> okay. I'm also getting someone who feels very overwhelmed, overwhelmed by them, by their circumstances, overwhelmed by where they're living, overwhelmed by the responsibilities that they have towards other people. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm getting someone who feels very overwhelmed. Libra, I think that you have a lot of responsibilities right now. And a lot of this reason that you're living out loud is that you're finding it hard to live out loud and be free, like be a free spirit, is because you have so many responsibilities to other people, right? I'm getting, why is it so loud? It seems like it get louder and louder, like what the fuck? <sighs> Anyways. Um... Yeah, I'm getting somebody, a Libra, that has a lot of responsibilities right now and they're finding it hard to live out loud. The reason they're finding it hard to live out loud is because they just, it's a lot of people that depend on you, Libra. Um, you kind of just want to be a free spirit. You want to be someone who lives on their own accord, who does what they want to do. But I'm getting you just can't right now. You could even have kids. You could have um family that you're taking care of but i'm getting that you dedicate a lot of your life to other people and not to yourself which is unfortunate you know we also have sawache out here she represents grounding okay and sawache is reminding us that we are the leaders of our own discernment and that we are the ones who own our bodies, okay? She represents Sarah Bartman. If you don't know who Sarah Bartman was, that was somebody who was sold into slavery and Mrs. Hot and Tot, Venus Hot and Tot. And they basically like used her for experimentation, sexual experimentation. They used her body, they took her, her voice away. Um, so she really couldn't have a say in how she was being used, you know what I mean? Um, they used it to experiment on her because they never seen anyone with a body like hers before. So, what I'm getting from this um, Le uh, Libra is that you're having a hard time grounding yourself. And the reason you're having a hard time grounding yourself is because you don't believe your life belongs to you because you spend so much time taking care of other people and doing things for other other people. Like I said, I, I feel like you could have kids. Maybe you have two kids with a third on the way. Somebody could be pregnant. Like you're just having a lot of responsibilities pile up on top of each other. And it seems like you can never really get a, a break. I'm also seeing a Libra who wants to move, like who wants to just up and leave, like pack up and leave and go like, leave everybody everything behind um but you can't do that because you have responsibilities to other people and the only reason i'm saying children is because um this live out loud energy is very childlike it's free so i'm getting those could be your children you know but you are having a hard time grounding yourself because you don't feel like you your life belongs to you which is a very sad way to live, honestly. Um, but hey, if you decided to have these kids, these was your kids. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm also getting that you're not a person who turns away from your responsibilities. So you take them very seriously. And I also am getting that Maybe you didn't want these responsibilities. I'm not, if this is a, a, like another family member that you're taking care of or like a wife or 
a partner or something like that, um, you can always walk away if it's truly bothering you like that. You don't have to carry the burdens of others, but if, if this is children, which I do think it is, um, you either should have wrapped it up or because if you didn't want this burden, you either should have wrapped it up where you should have just, you know, remain abstinent. But I'm getting that you're, even though you didn't want this situation, you're not the type of person to walk away from it, but you do feel stifled by it. You feel extremely, um, what's that word? Suffocated by it. And you feel like you lost your inner child, like you can't be yourself anymore because you had to like, it's like you you just became burdened with so many responsibilities overnight. Yeah. I'm also getting a Libra who is, who had a lot of dreams and aspirations. Like I said, you're an innovator. Um, but you're finding it hard to materialize these things because of all the responsibilities on your back. There's too many people pulling on your energy right now. And it's not just family, it's your children. But it's like outsiders too, it's friends. Maybe you have a, like a nine to five, but you do like your passion on the side. Um, yeah, I'm just getting there's a lot of people pulling on your energy at this time. I'm also getting that although people are capable of doing what needs to be done. I'm getting that you're kind of like the person in the family who everybody goes to for stability and structure. Like nobody can make decisions on their own for some reason, which is interesting. Yeah. So it's kind of like, even though you have your own responsibilities, everybody just comes to you for everything. You don't know how to say no. Okay, for the body of the reading, we have Tanit. And Tanit represents pleasure. So Tanit is just reminding us that um, we deserve pleasure too. We deserve to have fun. We deserve to have a good time, etc., etc. Right? You could be seeing the number 31, or you could be 31. You could also be seeing 1111. Time for a change. You could be seeing the number three, or you could have three children, like I said earlier. Or your third could be on the way. But this tiny card about body, you, maybe you need to have sex or something. You could possibly be needing to have sex, ground your sacral. You could possibly be needing to tap into your sacral energy or you could be overindulging in pleasure, but I'm really not getting that. What I'm getting is someone who is not experiencing a lot of pleasure right now because this live out loud energy is being stifled by these expectations from other people and by you having to take care of other people, like friends, family, whatever the case may be. It's like people just need you, you know? Um, but I'm getting you're not having a lot of pleasure in your life. You have kind of put yourself to the wayside. You used to take care of yourself more, but you don't right now because you have so many responsibilities. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay, so yeah. That's what I'm feeling, Libra, honestly. Like you're just feeling stifled from the life you used to live because you have all of these responsibilities now. And you're finding it hard to find your footing with these new, with these new um, responsibilities and with everybody just pulling on you because they feel like you just know best, like you just got it all together. But I'm also getting that nobody really asks you how you're doing. Nobody really asks you how you're feeling. Because they just don't think that anything is wrong with you. 
um, you kind of have to handle a lot of things alone. <clears throat> yeah, people don't really tap into your energy. Like, they don't really call you and be like, hey, you, how you, you okay? You doing good? They don't really do that. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. So at the top of my tarot back deck, I have the Nine of Cups, right? And the Nine of Cups just represents a wish fulfillment, like everything that you've ever wanted is being granted toward you. Um, I, but right now I'm getting that you're in the reversal energy of this card where you would be unhappy and unfulfilled. Um, so what I'm saying is that you do have access to like funds and like money and resources but you're not happy with these things it's, you you're not able to do the things you want with them because you're using them to like fund other people's lives and take care of other people so you're not necessarily happy about this you might have these nine of cups but the nine of cups doesn't really feel like your money because you have so many responsibilities. Like I said, I'm getting somebody who just wants to up and leave everything behind, but they can't. <sighs> I'm also getting that you might be having that, like be at odds with a, with a lover or someone that you're in a romantic relationship, like the relationship is not going the way you thought it, or it's no longer working. This nine of cups could have been a relationship that was good at first, but it's not working anymore. Okay. Then we have the rejection card out here. Oh, right underneath it is home. Okay. And so what I'm seeing with this is that there's someone pulling on your heartstrings, like you're being rejected by like a lover or someone you see it's, you're being rejected by a lover yeah so yeah when i read the nine of cups in this particular reading i'm reading it as not only are you not getting pleasure out of this life and nothing satisfying because you do have the money you do have the finances but there's someone that you were dealing with who is no longer working out anymore your home is unstable at this time, okay? Yeah, your home is unstable at this time. Everything is just all over the place at this time, Libra. You kind of can't, yeah, that's why you feel overwhelmed. That's what I'm getting, that's why you feel overwhelmed. You also have the gate 12 card out of here, the gate of caution. And human design is the representing the the, the uh, <coughs> representing the throat and the solar plexus. So I'm getting like your intuition is off, and you are having a hard time communicating your needs. Or I'm also seeing Gemini energy. Like you could be dealing with a Gemini, or you could have Gemini highly aspected in your chart. But I'm getting there's a lot of arguments and fights. Like you're throat chakra is overactive at this time because you're trying to advocate for yourself because you're trying to get some sort of peace of mind yeah this rejection card out here that i showed you earlier is really pointing to like a relationship no longer working out you could be a divine feminine who is having kids or who has another kid added to their plate or Yeah, that's what I'm getting, too. Yeah, I'm getting that a relationship is not working out anymore. It's just not, it's just not going the way you wanted it. And you're being left with a lot of responsibility. I don't ever really think you had full help. Um, but right now, it's like things are dwindling down where either this father figure or this mother figure is not as active or as present 
with these children. Okay. Or these responsibilities. Like something's going on in the home. <sighs> yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay. Now let's see what's happening. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some tarot. And we're going to see what's going on. And again, I'm going to clarify it with human design. Let me fix my card because I was using them earlier. And if I see low energy, child, I am. I just... I'm feeling what you're feeling, Libra. I know what it's like for people to like depend on you heavy and you not feeling like you have an outlet to go to. It's like people feeling helpless and you have to pick up the slack everywhere. One more spirit. One more. So I'm going to pull five cards from representing the feelings, the influences, the expectations, the emotional block, and most likely outcome. And then we'll go from there. Things look good for you financially, though, Libra. That never is a problem for you. <laughs> yeah, things look really good for you financially. But, um... Okay, let's see. So representing the feelings, we have the judgment card. Representing the influences, we have the seven of cups. We're representing the emotional block, we have the three of cups. And representing the expectations, we have the two of pentacles. And representing the most likely outcome, the ace of swords. Okay, let me see what I see here. And you know, let me let me intuitively read these cards just now. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got a song in my head. Mm -hmm. Libra, you could have asthma or something. One of you guys could have asthma. That's what I'm picking up on. I'm picking up on somebody who's having a hard time breathing. Maybe somebody who has panic attacks. Mm -hmm. I'm getting somebody named Joe. Raquel. Idris. Jemaya, that's a nice name. Okay, so representing the feelings, we have the judgment card. Okay, the judgment card is just what you think it is, judgment. You know, it's legal matters, contractual issues, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it's also arguments, things that need to be resolved. Uh, but it represents a low period, okay? But there's going to be a turnaround at the end of it. In the reverse, it represents anger, revenge, someone trying to get even with you, or like a conflict of interest, you know? So that goes back to what I was saying, like, with that energy that was out here earlier, I'm getting, there's something going on in the home, right? In the home, and there's some rejection there, right? There's a, a, a family that's breaking up and it's becoming like one-sided and more of the pressure is being released onto you. You could be going to court or 
um, custody. He'll be going through a custody battle. And this is really like weighing on you. Because you almost feel like you can't get out of this. Like you feel so overwhelmed. That's the overall feeling, feeling of this reading. Overwhelmed. You know. Contractual issues. Yeah. There's a breakup. There is a breakup of a home. A breakup of a relationship. Something like that. You know. Where you're left holding the bag basically. And you're like I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to. I'm going to do this. So that's causing you to feel a lack of like pleasure within yourself or pleasure within your own life because you're going through a rough period in which you have to pick up the slack for a lot of people. Not just in your own life, but other people are expecting you to solve their problems too. Because you are the person that everybody goes to. Then we have the Seven of Cups representing the influences. And the Seven of Cups is just saying that you need structure in your life. Like, you're having a clouded judgment. Things are not looking too clearly. Um, you're dealing with life on a superficial level, you know? Yeah. Let me pull some cards. Okay, yeah, so the Seven of Cups, like, I do feel like this judgment will turn in your favor because we have a living light energy. See the beauty in life. It's kind of hard to see the beauty in life because you're dealing with a lot, but whatever is leaving your life will be restored with something better, you know? And this Seven of Cups here is represented by Soul Fragments. Balance will be restored. And like I said, the Seven of Cups in itself is just talking about a need for structure and discipline in your life. You're not seeing things clearly, so you need balance. I'm feeling like you need to like tap in with Source. Like you need to go deep within. You need to start praying. You need to go remember what you used to do. Um, confirmation. Go do things that you used to do before this started happening. Before all these issues started coming up. Have a spa day. Take yourself out to a dinner. Go to an art gallery. Do things that you used to love to do because you are kind of like in this mode right now of like kind of like self-pity. Where you're just kind of like, eh, whatever. You know, you need balance. You need to go back to the gym if you were going to the gym. If you weren't going to the gym, you need to create some sort of routine. Because I'm really getting a court battle. Like, something's happening. Like, it could be over these kids. Maybe someone passed away. I'm sorry if that's the case. But it could be over an estate. And now you have the financial, you have the burden of this. And there are a lot of people arguing and like causing fights. Could be arguing with your baby moms or your baby father. Could be arguing with your family members over an estate of somebody that passed away. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that you're letting this become your whole life. But in order to not go crazy, you need to create some structure, Libra. You need to, because you're all about balance. You're all about balance. You need to create some structure. You've gotten off your path a little bit. You've forgotten who the fuck you was. Okay, you need to go back to the gym and start eating clean again. You need to start prioritizing yourself and your happiness. You can't just be in this energy all the time. And I'm getting someone who is saying, oh, I'll do that when this is over. When this is over, you won't have a foot to stand on because who knows how, this, how long this is going to go on for. You need to take care of yourself now. Like right now. Okay. For the Three of Cups, we have the emotional block. And um, it's <laughs> that's so funny. 
is saying is the three of clubs in the upright is abundance, good harvest. But in the in the reverse, the three of clubs is like a lack of um, exercises, overindulgence and stuff. And that's what I'm getting from you. Like you are in a state of mind in which you're wallowing in this energy. And it's like you're going to isolation and loneliness. And it's it's not a place where you thrive. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. A Libra who is depressed at this time. You're depressed. You need to get up and get out the house and start doing some things. There's arguments going on. That's what the Three of Cups is in reverse to arguments. I'm just seeing a lot of arguments, a lot of disagreements, a lot of things that just aren't going the way you want. People turning their back on you, people dismissing you, people not feeling grateful for the things you have done for them. Like, you know... You gotta take care of yourself as these things are coming out, as these things are going on. You can't get in this mode of feeling one-sided because Libra, you're all about balance. Like you really need to start incorporating things that are gonna help you deal with this because you're not seeing clearly with the Seven of Cups. With the Seven of Cups, you're not really seeing clearly. Your judgment is clouded, but it's clouded because you're not taking care of yourself. I don't know how you're going to win this case or how you're going to take on these responsibilities and stuff like this if you're not clear-headed, if you're not clear-minded. Yeah, I understand things are going like a topsy-turvy way and it's not really ideal for you right now, but you cannot let your self-care and your own self fall to the wayside because things are happening. Life is always happening. you got to keep up with the Joneses as it's happening, though. Okay? Yeah. <sighs> Oops. You gotta do that. You know what I mean? We have sexuality. We just came out for the Three of Cups. Yeah. Hmm. Sexuality is, is creativity to me. I mean... Do something creatively, bro. You have been, like, putting your creative endeavors off. That's why you're unhappy. You don't have a balance right now. The balance is in, okay, I'm taking care of myself and what I like to do, your creative endeavors. You're not feeling free because you're not allowing yourself to do your thing. You're doing everybody else stuff, like getting caught up in these arguments, like letting this, this banter and this stuff that's going on over here consume you and consume your life instead of okay that was that i'm over here now it's another whatever okay so get creative start go back to the gym go to um like i said an art class start doing music again if you do music start drawing start start doing something because you stop doing something that you really truly love to do And also, you have you have a lot to be grateful for, Libra. You're not down and out like you think you are. You have a lot to be grateful for. You're constantly blessed. You're 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 constantly um, receiving uh, financial rewards, financial abundance. But you don't see you you don't have an attitude for gratitude at this time because you're heavy in this energy of too much toxicity and karmic stuff is going on around here. Okay. Then we have the two of pentacles as the expectation. Okay. So the two of pentacles in, in the upright leads to things changing, right? Things actually finally starting to change in your favor. But you gotta be patient, okay? But in the reverse, it points to you are just having to handle a lot of responsibilities and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just things are starting to get away from you. Like, like work is just work. You just come home. You just do the same thing over and over a different day. 
whatever. Things are just monotonous. Yeah, Libra, you have to get out this energy. I understand you have a lot of responsibilities. There's a lot of stress on you right now. But you're still very blessed in the opposite way. You have to start to hold on to the things that you actually do have, the blessings that you do have, and be grateful for those because um, that's what's going to get you more things, like more attracting more abundance in your life. But right now, this energy that you're in is not ideal for continued growth, and you need to stop wallowing in this energy because you're not going to get the outcome that you want if you keep staying like this, you know? So we have the Ace of Swords and it's the most likely outcome. So the Ace of Swords in the upright represents like a breakthrough in projects, like it being a good time to do certain things, to put set certain things in motion that you actually want to come to fruition. Okay. But it reminds us to persevere. Yeah, you gotta persevere through this. You gotta power through this. You are gonna win these cases and these arguments, whatever this is. But the more negative energy that you give to the situation, the less likely it is to come out in your favor. You understand the laws of the universe. You have to, whatever you put out, you get back. And um, right now you're putting out a lot of negativity just because you're facing a lot of adversity and you're facing a lot of things changing in your life and there's a lot of arguments and toxic shit going on you you don't need to be given into that and you don't need to be given into this depression because this depression is going to end up biting you in the ass and getting you stuck okay this partner or whoever it is i understand it might be stressful but you got to let them go you got to let them go it's not good for you anymore it's not working out it's not working out it's okay to be sad about it but it's not working out anymore it's not it's just not it's actually taking more from you than it's giving so patience and then we have help from above calling your angels ancestors and spirit guides yeah you will be okay you just have to remain steadfast you get what i mean yeah so let's pull from the human design deck and let's see what's going on here let's see what you need to fix in your body in your body grab <laughs> but I'm gonna finish this out so we got the gate 12 representing gate of details and this is cancer energy so you could be dealing with a cancer but this is representing the judgment card that we had out here earlier and so as you can see the throat and the ajna is lit up so I'm getting your third eye could be blocked but also there's an overstimulation of your throat chakra you're arguing with someone or a group of people and you can't come to a decision and says in the true self, the architect of possibilities where patience and innovation construct the bridge to a brighter future or in the not self, the stagnant ar architect where impatience stalls progress and creativity wizard withers. Give me one second. Okay. I'm uploading videos and posting this at the same time. So that's what that was. Um, yeah, I'm just getting someone who... The gate of details. Hmm. 
when the gate of details is out here to me in the ajna is 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 blocked it's just like you're missing parts of the situation like oh i will say this pay attention to whatever contracts you're signing soon pay attention to the fine print and if it's not a contract pay attention to what people are saying pay attention to what they are what they're doing right and not saying like pay attention really closely to people at this time that are around you and in your energy because people are thinking they slick they think they can get away with shit and you're gonna miss these things with the seven of cups energy if you're not disciplined if you're not in the right head state because right now you're in a mode of depression and you're not really paying attention to the details and you need to be paying attention to the details because it's very important in helping you either win this case or see something clearly okay then we have gate 51 out here which represents you libra and this is the spleen and the um the spleen the sacral and the thorough okay Gate 51 is just something that alludes to our intuitive clarity. And so in the true self, it's the navigator of visions where patience and intuition guide the journey to new horizon. Or in the not self, it's the lost navigator rushing through uncertainty, missing the paths and visionary possibilities. So like I said, when gate 51, the intuitive clarity is, is out here, it's just you're missing something. You are missing something. You're not getting clarity of something. Um, the lost navigator running, rushing through uncertainty. Uncertainty. Usually you're pretty sharp, Libra, but because there are so many things going on and there's so many people in your energy, you are missing the path to visionary possibilities, which is why I said pay attention to these contracts, pay attention to the fine print. And if it's not the fine print, if it's not people, places, and things, I mean, if it's not people that is doing this or a place, it's pay attention to your own intuition. Pay attention to what you feel within your body. Pay attention to the little nuances that's going on because you're missing things because you are in this self-loathing, depressive, argumentative, toxic energy, and you're not thinking clearly. And when you don't think clearly, you make mistakes, okay? So, yeah, pay attention to that. Then we have the Gemini card out here, which is the Gate of the Gatherer, Gate 45. Gate 45 is just like the Gate of Transformation, in my opinion. Um, but in the true self, it says the Catalyst of Transformation, where patience and sensitivity provoke change and bro growth. Or in the not self, it's the stagnant catalyst when impatience hinders growth and change remains elusive. Okay. And this is representing the Three of Cups. And I told you it was giving off for the Three of Cups in reverse, which is like a lack of exercise, overindulgence, arguments, and misunderstandings. And so what I'm getting is things are cool now, like on your end, like as far as finances and as far as abundance. But it's gonna hinder your growth, essentially, if you keep staying in this energy. Yeah, if you keep staying in this energy and you don't start to make a change, and you don't start to get a routine and do what the things you used to do, you're gonna keep attracting this negative energy. There's some dark energy around you right now. There's some dark energy around you at this time. And it's in everyone. It's in everyone. It seems like everybody's against you at this time. And you're really taking it personal. But it's 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 just time for you to elevate. This is a test before the next level, before you get to where you really need to go. That's all it is, Libra. And you could either stay down or you could take this as like a learning lesson. We have open intuition, which I just said. Seek clarification. Yeah. 
And then we have say what you mean. Okay. Yeah, I'm just getting that people are really looking at you funny. Like, there's a lot of people against you. But I wouldn't take none of this shit personal. Honestly, it's just because you're about to elevate in life. You're about to get something that you've always wanted. And to me, um, the second car is the second house is out here. So it's about money, success, and abundance. Like you're about to get something. And so you're being heavily tested right now. That's why the judgment card was out here earlier. Yeah, honestly, Libra shit happens. Just don't let it become you, you know? And right now, I feel like that's what you're doing. You're gathering, see, gate 45, the gate of the gatherer. You're gathering up the energy from these negative people and you're using it to be this way yourself. It's like you're angry. You're very angry at this time, Libra. You know? Ain't no need to be angry, huh? Ain't no need for that. Okay? Then we got gate 49 out here, the gate of principles. Okay, and the gate of principles is Aquarius energy and it represents the solar plexus and the root. So right now you're in this fight or flight energy, right? This is representing the two of pentacles. And I told you the two of pentacles in reverse is that sure you just taking on a lot of fucking responsibility, but it's just the principle, right? The gate of principle. It's just the principle of it. People are not really respecting your choices and decisions. And they're not really respecting your boundaries either. But you're not putting nothing in a way to make them respect them either. It says, um, the true self, the trailblazes with wisdom, where patience and experience light the way for the others. Or the not self, the stubborn traveler, resisting growth and missing the path of wisdom. Okay. You're not the st stubborn traveler. You're just not, and not in this case. Um, but I do feel like your judgment is clouded because of all this stuff that's going on in your energy. I'm gonna need you to cleanse. I'm gonna need you to take a spiritual bath. I'm gonna need you to get a get from around these people. Like, stop giving into this energy. Maybe sometimes you have anger issues. And you have the, like when you're in your not self, you have the ability to like, just want to argue people down and be petty and take things to the asshole. And you, you're not doing nobody no good by doing all of this because all you're doing is depleting yourself and depleting your resources and your good karma. Okay, so remember, what you do to people is your karma. What they do to you is yours. So mind what you're doing. Vindication can come in many different forms. Revenge, you don't need to be getting on your own. You don't need to be playing God, okay? You just need to pay attention, keep your eyes on the prize, and read the fine print. But stop giving it to these negative people. Yeah, you have a lot of responsibilities right now, but you know. Start learning how to delegate your time and say no. And start learning how to balance your self-care and your responsibilities because right now it's taking over you we have the virgo card out here and this is the gate 46 the gate of determination okay that's representing the ace of swords that's representing the ace of swords okay and this is Virgo energy. It says, the advocate for success where patience and empathy bend the bonds between dreams and reality. The discordant avenue where impatience disrupts the harmony between dreams and reality. Okay, so the Ace of Swords was out here and I told you it was a good time for work and projects and everything like that. But in the reverse, it, it represents a lack of concentration on the things that you really truly need to be doing. And you can't think clearly. When you tap into this gate 46 energy, this is the Ajna in the sacral, okay? Things grow from the sacral. That's fertility. And the Ajna is your own identity. And Libra, you know exactly who you are. It's just that you're having a hard time really seeing yourself and pouring into yourself because of what's going on around you, okay? 
don't let this situation that you got going on with this lover or this court situation um, and these responsibilities be the reason why your dreams don't come to reality, okay? Don't let this stuff get you stuck. Remember, when we're on our way to greatness, the enemy always poses a threat just to see how you're going to work out the situation. Are you going to fold? Or are you going to get down with the get down? Are you going to stand up? Are you going to stand 10 toes? All right? Or are you going to give in to the nuances and the negative behaviors and the fucking toxicity of it all, okay? You're doing a little bit of all of that. You need to regain your composure, re regain your balance, understand that you have the opportunity to um, see this thing in a different way, you know? Yeah. So let me give you a message card before we close out see what the spirit is saying to you it says have courage to ask for help okay i'm accepting it says asking for help is a sign of strength as is accepting it is offered to you uh, very often when you ask god for help prayers are answered through other people be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided okay ask for help ask for assistance ask for the things you need libra you don't have to do this alone like you you feel overwhelmed because you feel like nobody's gonna help you and you don't have help but spirit is always with you okay Spirit is always with you. Ask for help. Ask Spirit to give you the details, the guidance, the wisdom, etc. Face your financial fears. The noise. When you are honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can go no longer around you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness. And you'll realize that, in fact, there's nothing to fear and that every successful person has struggled with releasing these self-doubts. Okay. Get into that childlike energy, Libra, that you like to be in sometimes when you're happy. Go back. Realize that you deserve pleasure. You deserve good things in life. You deserve to have fun. Remember how you used to have fun. Do some grounding, okay? Get back into your body because you lost yourself a little bit. You found yourself a little off kilter because of what's happening right now in your reality and live out loud as you do so well, okay? You're not living like yourself, okay? Unleash your creativity. Need I say more? Do the things that make you happy so that you can deal with the nuances that are coming towards you, okay? I love you. Peace.